Hello everyone and welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from Rosecraft Blades and this is from their traditional line of knives. Comes in the standard sort of tan style traditional box. On the front you can see we have the Rosecraft Blades logo with the interlocking R and C. We make knives for people who love knives. You get that same logo on the back and then you get their website on either side. Underneath that we have the barcode and you can see we're looking at the Rosecraft Sequatchie River Muskrat RCT018. This is a product of China, so it's an imported knife. And you get the same details on the very base of the knife here. Nice little ribbon pull-out style box. Honestly, the boxes are fantastic. Knife comes very secure in this bit of foam wrapped in this bit of tissue paper as it has a D2 steel blade and that has quite a high carbon content so it just stops any unwanted like patina or not so much rusting but just like staining on its way over keeps it nice and fresh and clean for you. Stay secure in that foam and the box is shallow enough so when it's in there there's no way it's going to come out of that foam whatsoever. But uh, yeah big fan of the box is easy to store nice and small. But let's take a look at the knife. So here it is, the Sequatchi River Muskrat. Now I will say I don't have, own many muskrats in my collection. This is actually only the third one, I believe. Um, I have a Rough Rider, I have an Old Timer USA uh, made, and then this one. And I was never really a huge fan of the pattern, but I think that was really because of uh, the blades. I've got on other muskrats, so quite a weak pull, but this one, fantastic pull on the blades. But we have a closed length of 3.88 it says on the site so it's one two three i'd say probably, yeah 3.88 3.9 inches closed we have this polished black micarta covers on here and it looks absolutely fantastic i love the way that it's and you can see that it's contoured round so it swells out in the middle and gets narrower towards the edge and you get them sort of lines ovals around it and you know the different texture patterns i think that's beautiful we have a stainless steel spade shield on here returning and then we have nickel silver pins holding the cover together. So we have squared off lined bolsters on either side which are said are brushed steel. Of course the bolsters are integral to the liners. You can see they are one solid piece all the way along. Quality of the back, I mean it's mirror polish pretty much. And I cannot see a single gap or any fault in that at all. It's absolutely immaculate across the whole back of the knife. Flush all the way down. Excellent job. Reverse of the knife then. Same nickel silver pins. That polished black micarta. that are lined bolsters either end which are squared off. I, something about a squared off bolster that really speaks to me. I think it just... The termination of it. I think the more abrupt termination is something I really enjoy. Of course, now this is a two knife or two blade design. So we do have a stainless steel spacer going down the middle of the knife. You can kind of see it just about here going through the middle. Blade centering, absolutely spot on for both blades. I mean, as you'd expect for Rosecraft there, quality control is second to none. I mean, they're doing a fantastic job. Everything is flush. There's no sort of step in or gaps or transition issues. It's all pretty much perfect. All you can feel is the texture going over this lined bolster. Apart from that, it's wonderfully smooth. Same with the shield. No worries with that at all. Nothing sharp on the bolsters. They're all nice and smoothed off. Tangs of the knife. Yeah, you can feel them. Are they sharp? No. Same with this one. It does grab your finger a little bit, but not enough to say that it's sharp. So muskrat then. Traditional pattern. Two blades identical. Uh, let's have a look at the first blade then. So it is a Skinner style or long Turkish clip blade, I would really call that. You can see a nice long swedge across the top of the blade. We do have the Crescent Moon nail neck on there. Rosecraft on the tang stamp. Satin finish on the blade and the edge is immaculate all the way across on the front and the back. I think it goes without saying that these Rosecrafts come screaming sharp out of the box. There's no problem with that. See, nice blade stock on there, getting down to a nice thin point. Perfect for any sort of hunter, thing like that. On the back then, you can see you have Andy Armstrong's Maker's Mark, D2 Steel, and the model number being RCT018. 
And I will say the pull on this one, because the nail nick is quite far back on the blade, it does make it about an eight. But the walk and talk, phenomenal. Absolutely beautiful. Secondary blade then, which of course is identical to the main blade. Again, Rosecraft Tang Stamp, Crescent Moon Nail Nick, Satin Finish, Immaculate Edge as you'd expect. And again, exactly the same as the front blade, D2 Steel, RCT 018 and Andy's Maker's Mark there as well. But the pull on these blades make this a fantastic knife. This would be a great work knife for someone like a trapper or a gamesman, you know, that goes out hunting, anything they want to do, any skinning, things like that. Two identical blades, perfect for that. So let's take a look at the blade length then. So we have bang on three inches. I mean, could it be any more accurate than that for a full blade length? And then a cutting edge of just about two and a half inches, maybe a hair over. And it's going to be exactly the same for the other blade as they're both identical. Uh, yeah, absolutely identical. Three inches and then cutting edge of just a hair over two and a two and a half. So very UK friendly legal knife. Not gonna have any qualms of carrying this about. Both blades under three inches, cutting edge is way under three inches. Excellent quality, superb build quality as well. Stainless steel construction then, nickel silver pins, steel shield, D2 steel, which makes this a great work knife as it's gonna hold an edge for a long time. Nice and compact as well, even though it's a two blade design, it's not too thick, it's not overly bulky. We're just over half an inch wide. Weight of this then is 3.4 ounces. Overall for me, love it. I'm glad I picked one up. They are available on Heine Haynes right now. I will put a, a link in the description below. But I really hope you enjoyed this review of the Sequatchie River Muskrat from Rosecraft Blades. And the model number for that is RCT018. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.